Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Darkwood. And today it's happening. We are making our move on the church basement. And I'm really terrified for that, perhaps too much so, because I have really decked myself out more than ever before. Uh, we've got shovel, shotgun, molotovs, pills, armor, backup armor, backup rifle, axe, lantern, and those bear traps are going to go in the front. I've done some fortifications in the meantime, just so that we have some place to quickly run back to at night. I'm terrified. You guys made it sound so super scary. And so I'm kind of making sure to remind myself of my Q abilities, which I think I've, in 20 episodes, I don't think I've ever used one. Even though there were some times when they probably could have saved me. Uh, now before I go, let me just quickly make sure that there's fuel in the generator, because we don't want to get back here and have no fuel for the night. Uh, there's enough. I'm going to pour some more in just to be safe. And then we'll get a move on. Oh, I've also gone ahead and bought an extra hotbar slot uh, from the trader. It was a lot. It was 450 reputation for the fabric. But I just really, really, really wanted to make sure. I realized I didn't have a slot for pills if I were to have everything else that I wanted. And I wanted to make sure that I wouldn't be left high and dry. Alright, so without further ado, let's get going. God, I am so terrified. So much of my worth right now. Uh, this trap is actually also used up. Well, I'll clearly have to go back and make another one. <laughs> Can't leave on an empty uh, on an empty window. I don't know. I'm just making excuses. I don't want to go. All right, let's put one bear trap out here, and one for each of the upper windows because that was how those chompers got in last night. I honestly forgot all about these. I didn't even check to see if they were broken last night, or if they were broken on the previous nights. I really want to move on from this area as quickly as possible. I don't remember if I read it on a forum, or if it was you guys that told me in the comments uh, that the next base is actually safer than this one, or at least easier to survive in. I I'm kinda getting the hang of this one, but I still don't consider it to be very reliable at all. And like that, there's one, two, three, four, five, six active bear traps, I think. That's insane. Well, let's head for the church and hope we don't take too much damage along the way. I should actually be wearing... Nope, 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 running away, running away, running away, running away, running away, running away. I was actually just about to change my armor for this exact scenario. If I take a hit on the way over there, my health I can replenish, but I don't want my good armor getting even further damaged. So let's go like that. Uh, I'm bringing the axe along, not as a weapon... But because you guys had said that you can use it to smash down doors uh, with less durability loss, which makes a tremendous amount of sense. Okay, can I matador you? I'm not too worried about shovel condition. Oh, come on! Why didn't the middle click work? Sometimes it just doesn't work. Ah, uh, and there goes my original armor. Alright, well that's what I changed it for. I'm gonna go back and heal as well. Man, I shouldn't even be wearing that on the way here. Alright, now I believe you told me to pay attention to what this guy says. So many candles, so many flowers. A red one, a green one. For my little girls. So many candles, so many flowers, a red one, a green one for my little girls. What does that mean? It's so cryptic, but so is everything in this world. Candles, flowers, a red one, a green one for my little girls. I'm already hearing bad noises. Uh, should I have my lantern out here? Probably, right? It'll last enough time to get me through here. And also remember, we gotta be careful not to step on these corpses. Ow! That one wasn't even moving, are you kidding? I thought you only couldn't search them if they were moving. 
Alright, let's get out of here. Retreat. I believe you guys told me that I could throw rocks to get them to burst. Maybe I should have brought some of those. Alright, not to worry. This is not any reason to end the run. We can still use bandages. I'm just going to wait until I get kind of low on health to do that. This is what they're here for. They're for slow healing. Now, I believe that healing will continue to work as a passive effect for a little bit. So even if we don't get to use it, let's just move down there. And I guess note to self, just avoid all corpses. Don't even worry about if they seem to be moving or not. What's down here? More of you. I can't see much. Oh. Careful. God, I don't like being able to hear those growls, but not knowing what's going on down here. It is going to be super difficult to run out of here in a pinch. This place is a minefield. Can we sneak past you? It's so hard to tell what's environment and what's, like, overhead. Uh, that's a couch we can't do anything with it. We can push it, but we can't drag it. God, this soundtrack is making me so unbelievably tense, coupled with what you've all told me. Also gotta be careful that something doesn't come in behind me. Nothing in the box. Wardrobe, we can get alcohol and more pills. Definitely want a re-up if need be. Let's make sure. I don't know how many other ways to say I need to be ready. I think I'm saying it more to myself than you guys. But it needs to be said. Okay, so now we're on the other side of those broken wood beams. Uh, we could grab those mushrooms, but I'm not going to do that right now. Who knows how long we'll be. God, what is... I thought I just heard, like, a bassy thump. Something down here with me. Oh, were these people who took refuge down here? And some fungus or, like, mold spores? Just... Twisted key. Is this a trigger? a radio on the ground there. I can turn it on. Is that something I want to do? Oh. Any more? Any more? Does it matter if I switch it off now? Oh. Wait. Do these become chompers? Where are you? Where are you? I can hear you, but... No, 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 no. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Run, run. I can't do it. 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 Run, run, run. Pills, 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 pills here. Gonna grab as many as I can. Run, 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 run. I can't do it. There's just too many in close quarters. Okay. Uh, alright, survived. I think I killed, like, two or three. Uh, the question is, are they still gonna be down there afterwards? And what is it that I actually need from down there? Did they spawn because I picked up the twisted key, or... Or, or did they spawn because I turned on the radio? It, it seemed like it's the second one, but then couldn't I just not turn it on? Do I need anything else from down there? Uh, we've already established there's nothing I need from in here. Does it work on here? Is there a key? No, it doesn't seem like it. I don't want to use my lockpick on this. Alright, well that's the main change is uh, I got the twisted key. Even with the hotbar, I find it such a struggle to think of what to do when there's things mauling you in such close quarters when you die so quickly. 
Let's try again, I guess. Unless they're right there. You guys still here? Yeah, you're still here. Alright, just farm you guys this way. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm not using the shotgun for anything else because I'm not using it at night anymore. I assume you guys are in limited supply, right? Not wire, don't mind if I do. You guys still here? You guys are still here. You, you gotta be. You gotta be. That wasn't all of you. Rag and meat. Rag and meat. Okay, that's you guys. Anybody else? Anybody else? I'm feeling a little more confident now. Anybody else down here? There's another one. So that's like three or four dead chompers that I've killed. Anybody else? Any reason why I would have done that? Could I have just not activated the radio? Let's grab those mushrooms since we're going to want to head home and cook all this meat. I don't think my commentary is very interesting here. But, because <laughs> it's pretty repetitive... A lot of the time, when I get into this mode, the commentary is more for me than for you. Can I scooch between you? I can, but it doesn't seem like there's anything in this little gap here. Alright, so what was the point of all that? I got the twisted key, that's the big thing, but it really does seem like I could have just ignored the radio. Unless... I was wondering if there wasn't maybe a door behind here. There's got to be something else to this, right? After all that. Now let's grab that scrap metal and these rags. Wow, my inventory is full, even with the upgrade. Uh, Alright, let's just see if we can't grab these mushrooms in the corner and then make a run for it. Got to be very careful not to accidentally click the corpse. Got it, and we out. Alright, so that was very harrowing. Very easily could have killed me, but it didn't. And now let's make a run back, cook our cookables, and perhaps uh, we'll do a little bit more exploring today if there's time. And I've also got to have an examine of that twisted key and find out what it's for. Oh man, that was like, what, like four or five dead red chompers? I only have two shotgun shells left to my name. Alright, let's, uh, let's just bank those since I'm not going to be using them for now. I gotta try the rifle. Like, I, I didn't want to take any chances, but I, I really should be kind of learning what its capabilities are now that I have it. Uh, let's extract all that. Tons and tons and tons of essence. You'll love to see it. Let's check our journal, because I think there's a couple of things that I've yet to see. Uh, note with a code, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we've already seen that. Day 40, map to the doctor's house. I've shown the blood-soaked shawl to the chicken lady. She figured out what happened to her sister. Fell into despair and blamed the doctor. You guys are really not helping my guilt here. She left me a note with some instructions from him. It's a hint on how to reach his house, time to get even. Unfortunately for her, I already knew all that. Uh, crate, let's try to lock pick it. Excellent, nothing particularly useful though. I guess I could sell the battery. Uh, and there's another crate right here. Unfortunately, I have nothing to open it with. Right, can we smash these open? Sadly not. Oh, but there must be a corpse around here somewhere. I didn't see where they flew off from. I think it was from up above? 
Well, there's a bear trap here. I'll happily take that scrap metal. I'm certainly going to need it. Yep, chopper. Oh. Here is ye old rail tracks. This must be where the doctor's hanging out now. Uh, okay, I'm obviously not ready for this. But we'll keep in mind that this is here for sure. Uh, can I exit through the bottom? Because that would get me closer to my hideout. No, but this... This is definitely his camp. Okay, and we can exit from the bottom. More mushrooms for me. More essence for me. And I'm kind of weighing it up. Should I go visit the Wolfman before nightfall? So basically my thinking here is maybe I can show him the Twisted Key. Uh, but maybe I should save that for morning. I think that's what I'm going to do. I just I don't want to take any risks right now. And switch that generator on. Once again, I am sticking with my strategy of it is not really worth using resources to survive the night. If I survive, great. If not, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. Just want to be able to run away if need be. Maybe slap a thing or two to death with my shovel. And I'll pop a flare to save myself from ghosts, but not if there's anything else in the building. Also, is it just me? I can't believe I'm just realizing this, but... Is it just me, or is the timer actually a little faster at night? Well, let's just hang out in our interior room. And wait to see what's going to come for us tonight. Uh, it's these moments where... My ears are, like, so finely tuned, looking for any deviation in the soundtrack. What are you doing? More tremors? Ooh, aftershocks. Aftershocks bigger than the initial quake. The power grid can't take it! No, 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 come on. Anything shows up and I'm dead. Come on, power, come on back. Unless... Do I actually have to go start the generator again myself? Is that a thing? Ah, oh, there we go. No, I don't. Okay, that would have been a really bad time to do some science. I, I don't want to expend any more flares than I have to, because they actually are worth a fair bit of reputation. I think about 60, and at this rate, I might have to spend some of that on gas. Which is why, after I... I'm going to go to the Wolfman tomorrow, I'm going to show the traitor, and I'm going to show some people in the village that key, but... But if that doesn't work out, I I'm just going to move on on the Doctor, I think. I may try and do that in this episode, even if I have to extend the recording session a little bit. Oh, we seem to be doing okay so far. A bit of a strange mist. And some whispers in the night. I'm not sure I'm familiar with this event. But I hear skittering. Are the bugs out, or is that something that's outside? No. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, well played, putting that in the shadows. Uh, but, yeah, it's doing that thing, trying to get me outside again, and I'm almost tempted to see. I mean, I'm so close to surviving the night. Oh, it's a dog. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, oh, now you're over there. Alright, I don't have time for this. Just please don't break that window down before the night's over. I don't really have a lot of planks left. I don't even have a lot of raw wood to cut. If you do break through, I'm going to kill you. Oh, is it trying to lead me to a shiny stone? Is that what that voice does? Oh, come on. Yeah, jump in, jump in, jump in. Oh, no, wait, something was inside. Something was in the, uh, something was in the oven room. Oh, I think I lost one or two traps last night then. Wait. No, something destroyed the wardrobe, but didn't actually knock that down. Did it come in the front door? No. No. No, so what happened? There doesn't seem to be anything broken in the house. That's that's utterly bizarre. I'm glad I didn't encounter whatever that was. All right, I may have to make a purchase of some gas here for safety. Hmm. I don't really have anything to sell, but then again, I did gain some reputation for surviving the night. All right, so here's my decision-making process here. Uh, okay, so we do have just enough gas for another night. Just barely. So if by tonight, or by tomorrow morning, I haven't found more and I'm going to be staying here, I'll buy some more. But now it's time to go see what the Wolfman has to say about this twisted key. And if he's of no help, I'm going to go try the village. Oh, and uh, while I'm here, I guess I might as well sell you this battery since I'm not, I'm not, I haven't been using them. You guys keep telling me, like, no, go ahead and use it for exploring, but you see how slow I am with the hotbars in a sudden panic situation. Uh, I feel like trying to use that is going to get me killed. Which, you know, by my own logic means that I should just sell it, but for some reason I just can't bring myself to do it. Uh, yeah, so this trap was used up during the night. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Uh, that one's still open. I think that was the only one that actually went off. I, I wish the bodies would stay. At least for the next morning, because I would really like to be able to loot my lootables without having to actually physically go outside during the night, because it's not worth risking my life for some odd meat. I'd rather have their reputation. But now that we're here, we can come in, and since we got the Wolfman's key... Uh, we can kind of make a beeline straight for him and open this door. Ooh, there's new gossip and new show item. I've heard someone took pity on the poor villagers and fixed the cables in the pig shed. Some good soul. An angel of sorts. Probably crawled out of the ground. People like that haven't been seen in these parts for a long time. The wolf pierces me with his look and grins. A string of saliva lands on his hole-ridden jacket. My heart sings with joy when I see such selfless kindness. Tell me the truth, Meat. It was you, wasn't it? The wolf grabs my shoulders. That's splendid, Meat. Truly perfect. I can feel his claws piercing my skin. Here's your reward. You've earned it. The wolf looks me straight in the eyes, takes a deep breath, and spits in my face. The stench of his saliva makes me dizzy. I'm going... If I get an opportunity, I will kill you. It's all I've got, meat. Hope the trip was worth it. Well, you already gave me a rifle, so sure. Not really interested in your approval. Uh, I already showed him the strange box, but I can show him the twisted key. This is what I was looking for. Give it to me! 
The whelp snatches the box and the key from my hands. Muttering under his breath, he attempts to open the box. After a while, the lid gently slides, op slides open. Bit of a typo there. And the wolf peeks inside carefully, squinting his eyes. He looks at the contents in silence, then lifts his gaze at me. Is this a joke? Are you some sort of clown or something? A child's drawing and received item, shiny stone. I didn't read what the first one said. Wait, so this clearly isn't what he wanted, but it what is it that he was expecting? A wolf eating a red mushroom. What is all this? It's almost like it's telling a story out of order. And they end up all alone after some catastrophe happens. The wolf takes out a few crumpled pieces of paper from the box and throws them in my face. As they fall to the ground, I also notice a shiny stone among them. Some scribbles! I'm warning you, Meat. Do not dare waste my time again. Okay? I, I don't know what to do with that information. But you know what? I think I am going to go back to the village and see what else I can see. Because, look, there's no other areas on the map. But from what I understand, there is more after this. I don't know if I'm going to leave this place and never be able to come back. So I really don't want to leave too many loose ends with the village. And so I'm going to head over there. And maybe, if there's time left at the end of the day, I think I'm going to be spending one more night. But if there's time left, I'll head over to the doctor's trailer. You know what I just realized, actually? I had completely forgotten about the creepy house. Uh, with my newfound axe knowledge, maybe I should actually head over there instead. I mean, if I'm going to be spending another night anyway... What I've opted to do instead for kind of optimal time management is I'm going to head to the village today and see what I can see there, and then tomorrow I'll come visit this creepy house, which has kind of been taunting me with curiosity since I first arrived here. And then I'll have more time to go and head over to the doctor's hideout. Now, remember what we learned in the last part. The most efficient way to get to the village is actually to return to our old hideout and use the holes to kind of fast travel. Really, really wish I had known about that while I was living here. Would have saved me a tremendous amount of time. And here we are. It's actually crazy how nostalgic I get for these old bases. Seeing them abandoned when I once called them home. Crazy the things you get used to and, well, the things you become unused to. Alright, to the village we go. And I, I think what I'm going to do here is try to get into the back of that house uh, that the angry customer is pounding on the door of. I believe that's over this way somewhere? Maybe further north? Yeah, I think this is the way. Yep. Uh, maybe I'd be doing a favor to kill this villager, but I'm going to try to not kill any more of these people. I mean, I'm already directly responsible for the deaths of two of them. All right, locked. I need a key. Uh, no, I do not. Yes, I do. It's a metal door. It will not be broken down. All right, I don't think there's actually anything I can do here then. You know, coming back down here just to see if there's anything else I missed. 
I just realized, remember when they said that they threw the Abomination Baby down the well, and we learned that that eventually became the small red chomper? These scratches in the ground are a child's drawings. Do those things retain some kind of sentience or humanity? Yeah, there's an unpleasant thought. So I think all I'm going to do is head back and today uh, we'll be hitting the creepy house because we have plenty of time left to do that. Nope. I said nope. Thank you. Uh, going through a lot of weapon durability. But make no mistake, I'll certainly be going strapped to the doctor's encounter. I don't know if he's going to put up a fight or not, but we of course want to be ready for the possibility. Uh, we've got our lantern on us, I believe. We've got mollies, pills, a pistol, and an axe. Where's that door? Uh, barricade is too strong to dismantle. Wasn't there a door somewhere? There's your... Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about all this. Okay, uh, so there's a hole in one of the back rooms. And now I'm the one committing the home invasion. This door, I believe, was... Oh, no, this is also a metal door. I can't get in here, and it, the axe isn't going to work on this either. Maybe I can tear down the barricade, but I'm not counting on it. But my axe is broken. Let's do it with the shovel. All in. There we go. Gonna definitely have to repair both of these when we get back, though. And it won't let me hop through, so that was a total waste. Can't see anything useful either. How do I get in here, then? Alright, I just looked it up, and apparently, as the... As the icon implies, this house is related to the, mus the musician, and you can't do anything with it unless you've given the key to him instead of the wolfman. So there's nothing for us to do here in that playthrough. I wish I had looked that up before I broke that window and subsequently my stuff. See, the thing is, uh, lately I've started to look up certain things because uh, at this point... The series has gone on for so long that some things I can't wait for comments. I just have to know what is and isn't worth pursuing. But we can drop off our logs, which can be used to make many, many, uh, many, many boards. And we'll try to survive another night. I don't feel like there's really time to do anything else. Get that all the way, and boom, boom. And that'll leave us with an additional two and half a tank of gas. I'll definitely, definitely be buying some if our encounter with the, uh, with the doctor doesn't end up taking us to a new location altogether, which, if that happens, I hope we get to keep our stuff. I would hate to lose all of this. I'll tell you what, maybe there's still time, since I was just able to make another lockpick... Uh, courtesy of our trip to the village, maybe I can still head up there and open that other chest that was in the northeast corner of the church. Okay, so what have we got? We've got you locked. Was there another one? I kind of think there was. Ah, uh, yeah, there was. Ah, uh, but we already got that one. Okay, so you're it. Do use the old lockpick? And we get gas, yes. Okay, so we won't be buying it yet after all. Some batteries, that'll be reputation, and pills. Uh, can we also make this trip include some odd meat? I think we can. Oop. And yep. Uh, I really do feel a big, big difference in my combat abilities when I record these things only a couple of days. No, 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 no. Nope, 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 nope. Or, but possibly yes. Uh, if you come over here, maybe I can get a slap on you when you come around the corner? No? Okay, I I'm not gonna tempt fate. We are already like 75% of the way to the next upgrade. 
I thought it was going to take forever. Uh, but let's take that metal. And I think we're going to build ourselves another bear trap. I, I kind of almost don't think it's worth it, but that's the window that dogs keep coming to. And if we can just keep one enemy a night out using these bear traps, that's worth it. That improves my chances of survival greatly. I also tend to be able to deal with threats individually. It's when they come at me all at once that it becomes too much of a struggle, too much of a panic, and I just can't get anything done. And for the first time in forever, uh, let's drag this thing in so that the store is actually blocked. I feel like the last bunch of nights that door has just been wide open. Let's just put a slightly more comfortable amount of gas in here before we start the night. Just a little bit of extra breathing room. I know it's probably not smart if I'm going to be leaving here, but I just want to be safe and start right in the 11th hour. I'm so glad we found that extra tank. But once again begins our... Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, I can't catch a break with this guy. And maybe we'll try the molly method if we don't care too much about survival. You guys say that the birdies have low enough HP that I could probably kill the babies with a pistol? But I don't want to spend the ammo on that. Yeah, it'll definitely be coming. Weird thing is, though, in previous hideouts, I've seen those birds fly overhead, like, numerous times before. But the Banshee never really started visiting me until I've been here. I don't know, maybe it only shows up here, but, like, the event can still, like, sort of soft trigger. I really do love the idea of this terrifying figure that... ...has an omen that heralds its arrival. I think that was actually the sound of something getting caught in the bear trap, so I'm gonna go have a look. I don't know if it was the front door or if it was outside. Like one of the windows. Yep, there you are. Die. Kinda don't feel like making another one of these. Maybe I'll just wait right here. Definitely hear something walking about. It's not the booming footsteps of the Banshee, though. No, it's right around the outside. It's in. No, that's the Banshee! Now, some of you told me that it's actually not, uh, it's actually not when the Banshee sees me that it screams, but in fact, when I look at the Banshee. Uh, something just hit a bear trap. Yep. Come on through. Come on, do it. I want you to. Do it. Do it. Oh, no, you didn't hit a bear trap. You did not hit a bear trap. Open the door. Nope, nope, nope. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yep, I'm dead. There was no way. That didn't work at all. I didn't even have anything to say about that. That just that I had no chance at all. I don't understand why that that bear trap didn't work. Unless something else already hit it. Something else must have already hit it during the night. So that that's what I've learned so far. That wasn't even worth the Molotov. 
If thing if there's more than the banshee here, I can't do anything about it. All right. Well, let's uh, let's talk to the trader, and that's just all the more proof why we need to get out of here. Actually, how much can I sell the odd meat for? I almost feel like doing that, selling it to you for 30, and then... I just want to get something out of this. Alright, shotgun shells, yes. Uh, medium caliber bullet, why not? That's 80. Uh, but we are so close to an upgrade, but I haven't been using the upgrades. Like, I just don't feel like... First of all, I never think to use them in a panic. And also, I, I don't really feel like they're all that useful. Like, if I could not take any upgrades just to not have the debuffs i almost feel like that's better all right well i obviously want to buy the ammo and i'm gonna shotgun up and or maybe i'll rifle up i'm not sure which maybe the rifle is better at range in which case if you're gonna go raid somebody uh the shotgun is the way to go i'm not sure i haven't actually tried it Go to the oven. See, this whole hideout is just slowly wearing down my resources. It's the first place where gas is really becoming a problem, and that's why it's so clear that I need to leave. So let's go. Let's set out to do what we set out to do in the beginning. And confront the doctor and get my key back so I can get out of here. But it's not going to be that easy. But I'll take your bear trap. Here we are. They say he lives in that rail car. It's overturned, but there must be a padlock somewhere. Maybe in the back, right here. Metal door. Okay, so what was the combination? It'll say it in my journal, right? Uh, items... Code. The code to the cart door is 6820. Well, let's get in there. The music ramping up to match my own level of tension. Almost wish I could go in with the gun at the ready. What are you doing here? I think you know exactly what I'm doing here. Don't come near me. Okay, I'm not going to make the mistake. I'm not going to make the mistake of running off headlong into nothing. I've got you where I want you, and that's how we're leaving it. One moment, I have to capture the thumbnail, sir. Huh. You're not quite as decrepit as I thought you'd be. The doctor is lying against the train car's wall. His face is covered in sweat. An intense odor of alcohol hangs in the air. This weak old man is not what I was expecting. He actually doesn't look too dissimilar from the photo that we saw. Do not come close, you rotten dog. I won't give you the key. Can't you understand I saved your life? You'd rot away in that clearing if it wasn't for me. You owe me. The doctor moves closer to the wall, grotesquely kicking his legs against the floor. You think I don't know who you are, rat? I've managed to get a good look at you. Your kind visits us whenever you please. You hide behind the trees, watch us from a distance, and then disappear. Uh, yeah, actually, I was meaning to ask you about my horrid appearance. You have no idea how it is to live here. Well, I've been here for like a month and change. This place, these woods, everything is messed up here. 
I won't take it anymore. Do you understand? I won't bear the look of those deformed, reeking bodies anymore, nor the cries of those wretched villagers. First they begged for help. Now I need to hide from them. I'm just an ordinary doctor. How was I supposed to help them? How? The doctor goes silent, his face now hugging the wall of the train car, looking truly pathetic. Can you hear it? It's the walls. They speak to me. My little girl is calling me. I know she's waiting for me. I must come back to her. She's so close. His voice breaks down. I want to go back home. I can see panic in his eyes. Please, this key is my only chance. Help me escape this place. Help me, or kill me. Man, this guy, he is just not at all what I expected. We had almost been led to believe there was this doctor driven mad by the circumstances until he was, like, almost doing all kinds of crazy experiments, but you, know, you come to see that those experiments were just trying to make sense of the insanity. This is by far the most sane person we've encountered thus far. I'm going to try to help. Maybe we can get some kind of mutual thing going here. I take out the map and show the doctor the location of the abandoned house with the hidden underground entrance. The doctor stares at the map for a long while, without lifting his gaze to meet mine. He removes his dirty glasses with a trembling hand, and freezes. I'll wait for you there. And better take the essential things with you. Looks like returning here will be impossible. Oh boy. So I really will be leaving everything behind. I've got to get back and prepare. Oh, I can get from his bed two bottles of alcohol and a torn photo. He must have torn himself out of the photo of his wife and daughter. Uh, since we're going to be leaving tomorrow, I'm going to head back up and just see what's in the, uh, what's north of the cabin of the hunter. Don't have time for dogs right now. I need the shovel to be in good shape for when I make the crossing. Uh, it's yet to be seen if that's going to be in this episode or the next. And also, I, I feel like I'm missing something with that church basement. I have to be. There has to be some reason why I turn that radio on. You know, wasting all my shotgun shells in the process. I really don't feel like that would have been doable at all without a gun. Uh, let's actually test out that idea that you guys had of uh, using rocks to break these. Oh, it actually does work. Useful to know, because I'm sitting on a whole bunch of rocks. Now, let's see. I'm actually not going to bother to take any of the traps, because I, I want to save inventory space. I don't know if I'll be able to keep them. But I do want to see what's beyond the top edge. Okay, so you don't get there by going through the house. I gotta go out and around. Just wasting even more time. Oh, bear trap. I'm actually going to leave these things. Uh, I can't get in there. I'm gonna leave some things at the house. Just because I have a theory that I'd kind of like to test. Also, what happens if we use the rock on you? It doesn't work on the corpses. All right. Now, what's up here? Uh, more destroyed rail tracks and... 
There's some sort of hole in the ground that it doesn't look like we can interact with. And here's the end of the woods. Yeah, nothing. It doesn't look like there's really anything of interest up here. But I had to check if I wasn't going to get a chance to see it again. Ooh, and a whole field of poisonous mushrooms. Yeah, might as well get some more essence while we're at it. Don't have time for you. Nope. I've decided that I am going to go for it today. Actually, uh, maybe, maybe there's something else we should do, but I'll let you in on that once we get there. Alright, rushing in, uh, let's cook our cookables, and very quickly, quick as we can, uh, we're gonna try and get our most useful items to take with us. Uh, so we're gonna want one can of gas, uh, a full stack of flares, what else, what else do we need? Uh... Let's try the other thing. Uh, I'm going to put away... Obviously, I don't need to be carrying all these wood things. I'm gonna put away all... Nope, nope, nope. I don't want to take it with me. I want to put it back. I don't need all this. I'm going to put away the nails. Put away even more nails. What I want is gas, ammo, weapons. All the things that I cannot replace. Or at least would be very, very expensive to replace. I'm going to bring... Shells for armor, but not all of them. Dang. Uh, enough pills. No rocks. I'm going to bring the axe. The ammunition. All of it. All of the guns. Uh, I think there's a gun in here. Yes, I'm going to take that as well. Uh, all ammo. I'm going to run out so quickly. So much of this is essential. All ten flares. And one thing, I'm going to use my inventory space on this. The bike bell. Just in case I can summon the bike man. And the rifle, which we've never used. And eh, maybe I should bring some alcohol just in case the bike man gets thirsty. I'm not even going to bring the bandage. No planks. Oh man, this is hard. I'm actually going to bring all my pills. They're my most reliable and least replenishable method of healing. Alright, um... I'm leaving so much behind... ...but I feel like it's what I gotta do. I can just hear the rapid typing of everyone yelling at me right now. And I guess a medium caliber magazine. Is there anything else I... Is there anything I really don't need? Oh, there's an extra stack of alcohol. Okay, um... So I guess that'll be another medium caliber. Or should I bring the weapon parts? I don't know! I just don't know. Oh, this is agonizing, but I'm running out of time. Uh, okay. Well, I do have a backup plan, and it doesn't include staying here. I'll tell you that much right now. Bring the ammo. Don't have time. I truly just don't have time. Still got chompers to navigate through. Sending everything at me in the 11th hour, come on. Okay, 
location found anti-tank gun. Okay, well, I don't think I have time for this, sadly. I can use it to figure out where I am. I have to keep heading north. Don't spot me, dog. Do not spot me. And here we are. We're heading back through this creepy house. Uh, even more disturbing, having never found out what this place's deal is. But maybe that's the point. We're just left with as far as the game is concerned, a shortcut and a mystery we'll never be able to scratch the itch of. Hmm. Seems the dark and storminess has not followed me over here. It's kind of nice, isn't it? Crazy how I used to be so afraid of this place, but it's only got the most basic enemies. Cute little bunnies. And the easiest hideout of them all. This is the bright part of the dark wood, and I'm practically nostalgic for it. Uh, now what we have to do is make our way north, and since I don't know what's going to happen when we make the crossing, uh... I was almost thinking about spending another night. But since we're actually already here and there's more time to spare than I thought... Uh, where did I have to go? Uh, the underground entrance is to our west. Uh, maybe I'll skip that. I was thinking about doing like an old time's sake uh, night in the old house, but... I think we'll get a move on. Should I? Oh, screw it. You guys wait long enough for these parts. Hello, dog. I actually don't even really feel like killing you. I'd rather just avoid you, save the condition. Uh, where is that house? I've kind of lost track. Uh, and with not very much time to spare at all... Home sweet home. Let's just go and make sure that there is some gas in the generator. Ah uh, yes, I left this place stocked for one night. Good job, past me, however many episodes, however many real months ago it was. Uh, it seems many of these windows are still boarded. Actually, many of the traps are still in front of them. Uh, remember way back when, when we were always uh, putting the traps indoors? Because I didn't want to waste the resources? Ah, I remember. Uh, okay, uh, let's not get distracted going down memory lane. We've got to make sure these lights are on. Uh, and also remember, we only have the lamp in the one room. Or no, wait, we have two lamps. <laughs> remember two lamps? Ah, it's incredible how nostalgic I am for this. Uh, go away, dog. <laughs> this is my vacation house. Can you believe it? We've actually advanced to the point where I have a vacation house in the dark wood. All right, 10 minutes left, generator on, let's go. If I have to pop a flare for the last few minutes, no big deal. All the barricades still holding. I guess nothing comes through here when I'm not here. They're specifically looking for me. Uh, let's push this wardrobe in front of the one door. Let's, what are you? Oh, right, I forgot to turn on the thing. Light the oven, light the oven, light the oven. Uh, I hope it's not too late. Uh, thank you. Uh, lost just a little bit of health. Good thing that protective substance kicks in quickly. Well, <laughs> as a first for this series, at least we finally got to see what happens. It's a good thing I was already on my way over here. Ah, uh, this place had to have one more shock left for me, didn't it? Ah, who's walking about? Do we have savages? <laughs> I have a shotgun for dealing with them. Uh, the shovel will actually probably one-hit kill them. If not one, then two. 
And don't forget, uh, in the intervening time, I've also learned the value of mobile defense, so I could get a hit off here, and then run off and hide in the other room, and then hit them when they come through the door. That could also be a thing. Boop -a -doop -a -doo. <laughs> you know, it's weird. The lack of nervousness is almost making me a little bit nervous. I can hear him out there. Did he maybe hit a trap or something? I don't think I have any traps around that way. Is he beating at one of the windows? It doesn't sound like it. <laughs> Guy, what are you doing out there? Oh, there's that flashing. I could go investigate, but it'd be really embarrassing to die in my last night. I think it turned out that those are shiny stones that we can go get, but it seems so far away. And not like I had the inventory space anyway. Did I remember to bring the bike man's bell? I did, okay. See, that's a waste of an inventory slot if it doesn't work. But I feel like I have to try. Yep. You do your rat-a-tat-tats. I've got nothing to fear. I know that if nothing steps in one of the traps in the other rooms, if I don't hear those windows being beaten down, I've got nothing to fear. I believe the Banshee doesn't have to worry about those things, but as far as I know, the Banshee ain't gonna come get me here. Goodbye, Whispers. Goodbye, Fog. Goodbye, Chain Traps. Goodbye, Savages. Oh, wait, High Ghosts. Uh, I might have to use Flares. Or just move to the other room. I remember when that used to be an option. Nope. Nope, I can stay in this room. Ah, oh, they just came to say goodbye. They're being nice tonight. Goodbye, Ghosts. Oh, who am I kidding? I'll probably be seeing all this stuff again in the next part. Assuming there is a next part, I actually don't know what's going to be on the way. <sighs> Goodbye, easy nights where nothing comes for me. Goodbye, bed. Goodbye, two lamps. Goodbye, outbuilding generator room. Uh, sorry, ghosts, was I stepping a little too far from the light for your liking? And for the final night... And... Ow! Hey, wait, 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 wait. That's... Hey, ho, 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 ho! And I'd say goodbye unfair nonsense, but we all know that's going to be here to stay. All right, traitor. The man grabs my arm and pulls me closer. A strong smell of mushrooms assails my nostrils. The old sack covering his body slides down, revealing his chest covered in horrid growths. It's fused with a porous helmet, pulsating to the rhythm of his breath. It's star I'm starting to feel dizzy. Without loosening his grip, the man raises his left arm, bringing his forearm to my face. It's pale as paper, and reads, Do not open the door, let's stick together. Why does this game just keep making me feel horrible over and over again? For the sake of the Let's Play, I have to move on, but I almost feel like I should just retire to the... to the dry meadow at this point. 
Why don't you come with me? Are you not going to be there too? <sighs> okay, well, I have to go. Goodbye, friendly trader. Goodbye, friend. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to do that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.